Hi, in today's video, we're going to take an in-depth look at the trucker's hitch. Everything, probably, and more than you'd ever want to know. Stay tuned. Welcome to week two of four of our deep dive into the trucker's hitch. Today we'll be learning the variations of the trucker's hitch that involve different forms of the sheep shank. If you missed week one, I've put a link to it right up here. If you wish, you can pause this video, check that one out, and we'll be right here when you return. Week one was an overview of what, when, and where of the trucker's hitch, plus instruction on the Alpine Butterfly version with a slipped half hitch tie off. Hi, I'm John with Let's Go Now Adventures, and you know, whether you're into tent camping or RV camping, we create videos to help give you the skills and confidence to make your camping experience that much better. In this four-week course, you'll not only be learning many of the different variations of the trucker's hitch, but you'll also be learning the slip knot, the 2 one half hitch, the tot line hitch, the alpine butterfly, the full and half sheep shank, the inline figure eight, and how to slip any hitch. With the knots you'll learn in this course, you'll have the skills and knowledge to master most camping knot tying situations. Each week we'll be covering different variations of the trucker's hitch. You know, if you can, watch the videos in order. They build off the previous video. If you're watching them out of order, that's okay too. You can always catch all of the episodes by going to the description of this video below, and there you'll find the links to all of the videos. You know, the next topic we're going to be covering is basic land navigation and orienteering. So if you haven't done so yet, hit the subscribe button and the bell next to it and choose all notifications. That way you'll be notified each time we release a new outdoor skills course. In today's video, you'll learn the two variations of the trucker's hitch that involve the sheep shank, the partial sheep shank and the full sheep shank version. The partial sheep shank version is the one commonly referred to as the truckie's hitch. Here's a brief overview of what the trucker's hitch is. So once again, the trucker's hitch is a compound knot. It's a couple of knots that work together to form mechanical advantage. So you've got your loop. So what you do is you set up with that loop a mechanical, a, in fact, a block and tackle. You're using the loop as a pulley in your system to gain mechanical advantage, to be able to tighten it more than you can with just pulling the line. There's also a hitch where you're going to tie off the knot to finish it at the end. And we can use multiple different kinds of hitches for that. Oh, like a two one half hitch or a slipped half hitch or even a tot line hitch. It's easiest to think of the trucker's hitch in two parts rather than one complicated knot. Part one's the loop knot, part two's the tie off. And you know, it's almost like shirt and pants. You can mix and match the tie off with different loop knots. You can do whatever you'd like. Today we'll be learning two forms of the sheep shank form of our loop knot. You know, it's not important for you to know all of the different ways that you can tie a trucker's hitch. However, you'll probably find that there's one or two ways that you just, it works for you. One way that you're just comfortable, you could tie it in your sleep, and another way that may work under special circumstances. And as we go through each variant, we'll talk about some of the strengths and weaknesses of each of the variants of the trucker's hitch. So one thing I'm really excited about with this video is as I teach you each of the knots, I'll be showing it to you from multiple angles. But the one that's going to be the most important is the one that's going to be my view of the knot. If it says my view at the bottom of, of that screen, you'll be looking at, if you look at that screen and focus on that one, that's the vision or the way I see the knot. It'll be as if you're looking at me tying the knot, looking through my eyes. So the next knot we're going to tie is the partial sheep shank. This is the knot you would use to, to tie the traditional truckie hitch. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a loop. So you just twist into a loop like that. Now 
The thing is, is if you can see it, the far side from me goes around and it ends up coming towards me. What's nearest to me goes away. Then what we're going to do is we're going to create a loop with our other hand and we'll just slide that loop through the first loop. Then as we pull, you can see that we've got some tension and what we'll do now to finish our trucker hitch is we're going to put a couple of twists on that and this is the loop that we're going to use. So the next knot we're going to work on is the full sheep shank. So what we're going to do is take our line, we're going to twist a loop into it just like the last one. We'll grab another loop, slide it through. Now what we need is a little bit of tension to hold it in place. Now we'll take it and twist into our other line, another knot, a loop right there, and then we'll pull that through. Now as soon as we apply tension, that knot's not, that is not going anywhere. This is the loop we're going to use for our trucker's hitch. Now one advantage of either of the sheep shank methods is that they untie so easily. All you have to do is release the pressure and you can see that the knot just basically falls apart. So let's talk advantages and disadvantages of tying the trucker hitch with one of the forms of the sheep shank. So they're actually the advantages and disadvantages are two sides of the same coin. While the, tr the sheep shank versions of the trucker hitch are the easiest to untie, especially after having a great deal of force put on them, they're also the least reliable of the, the forms of loop knots you can use to tie a trucker hitch. So later in the video, I'll be showing you a way, a couple of methods you can use to make the sheep shank versions a little bit more reliable. So to tie off our knot today, we're just going to pinch it just like we did last time, right above so that that doesn't slide. Then we're going to create a loop right over the top and then we'll just slide just the loop through and then pull that tight. Now, what we're going to do this time, it serves two purposes, is it gets rid of your extra line, but it makes the knot a little bit more secure. So what we're going to do is we're just going to continue around again, taking just the loop. We'll go around one more time and we'll pull another half hitch using just the loop to tie off our knot. So out of the two sheep shanks, I only use the full sheep shank version when my main purpose is to take up extra line. I really don't use it in uh, that much in real world outdoor situations. Now, the other hand, I do use the partial sheep shank because it's so fast. And to make it even faster than what I've already shown you, you simply just take a loop. And then I'm going to take the loop underneath my standing in and then back down through and as I pull, you can see that I've got my partial sheep shank. Now I can go ahead and finish the knot. Now a couple things you can do to make this more reliable is you can run your working end back through the bottom loop. What that does is that adds an extra point of friction. The other thing is to put a couple of loops, twist, your bottom loop a couple of times. Then you come through, you work your working end through that loop, then you can tighten it up. Now, if you want to make it even more reliable, before you put too much tension, take your upper loop and then place it over, let's give it a little less tension, Place it right next to your standing end and pull the standing end through that upper loop. Just enough so you can pick up a stick off the ground, a tent stake. In this case, I'm using a small screwdriver and put that in there. That's spiking it. And what will happen is because we've spiked that, now that knot is not going to fall apart. As we tighten it, loosen it, tighten it again, loosen it, then the only, what we need to do 
Once we're done with the, our knot, we want to untie it. It's simply just loosen up, remove the spike, and just give it a shake, and it's, it's out. So I hope you got some great value out of today's video. If you did, why don't you give us a big thumbs up? We really appreciate it, and that actually helps our video get seen by more people. You know, stay tuned. Next week, we're going to be going into another version of the Trucker's Hitch. This is the version that's sung about in songs, the wildly popular video on the Trucker's Hitch. We'll be using the inline figure eight tied off with two half hitches. Now, until next week, I'm John with Let's Go Now Adventures, and we'll see you on the next adventure.